What's good everybody? My name is Verns and welcome back to Fort Solace. We are headed right through the tunnels and into the final chapter uh, of this cinematic sci-fi Je horror thriller. Jessica. Thanks, Wyatt. <laughs> Where is he? Just stop this, please. You don't know what you're doing. I could say the same to you. I'm saving lives. That's what I do. Adam, Asim, how exactly did you save them? I've let this go on long enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was going to start talking before why it cut me off, but up until this point, we've now found five dead bodies uh, within Fort Solace. And the fingers are pointing to Wyatt being the culprit, but again, I still am not fully convinced um, that he is the one that is solely responsible for all of the crazy things going on inside Fort Solace. But, you know, there's Compound 26 to talk about. There's a whole lot of other things that could be at play. And I feel like we're getting down to crunch time. Um, and we need to start getting some answers. And hopefully we find them in the greenhouse. But we'll have to find that out. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, <laughs> this looks like a greenhouse. But holy cow, look at the diversity of plants here fine jack got that 10-4 so let's take a look around here and see if we can find out more about compound 26 i can't believe these are real i wonder if she's saying that these don't i mean these don't look like alien plants to me um but maybe on the engineering base that jess and jack were stationed at they don't really see stuff like this that would be my thought. But yeah, look at the diversity and all the plant life here. I mean, some of this stuff looks pretty standard, like your cabbage and your lettuce. Um, you know, but I would think that you'd have to kind of create vegetation in a different way if you're on Mars, right? Like, I feel like it wouldn't <laughs> work the same as irrig irrigating, farming, um, and cultivating plants on a completely different planet as it would be doing it on Earth. But I don't know. I've never been to Mars again. <laughs> These cucumbers... That looks like a cucumber to me. Uh, I can't really rotate that well, but pretty standard stuff. But yeah, I, you know, I'm hoping that in this last chapter, we do find out more about Compound 26. You know, hello. Oh, <laughs> Wyatt clearly has lost his mind to, to a degree. Um, you know, throughout this whole game so far, he's been slowly releasing this pent up aggression um, and frustration, I think, is the better word, with everything that's been going on in Fort Solace. And Helen Dunpart, who the, was the first body that we found dead, was the lab botanist here at Fort Solace. And, you know, she was working on a lot of stuff with this Compound 26 and was praising it highly to be this, you know, regenerative type plant, um, you know, something to cure things or to, you know, accelerate things, I think was a word that she used, but we still don't really know what it is. Um, and I don't really know what those are. I think they <laughs> just want us to take a, a gander at things before we get the pants scared off of us. But let's uh, let's keep pushing forward. I'm really on edge, too, because Wyatt could pop out at any moment um, and scare the shit out of us, which he's already done. And if you really want to get deep into it, Wyatt knows this place like the back of his hand. Um, he pretty much lived here and worked here. We don't. We knew nothing about Ford Solace before we came here as Jack and uh, Jess. And here are all the bees that they talked about in the last chapter. The apiary. <laughs> Looks like some automation going on too. Yeah, they talked about the uh, <laughs> the bees escaping and getting in people's suits, which again, I can't even imagine. But let's see if we can find some more info on Compound 26, or at least from Helen. Progress. It's a funny thing, really. You are so preoccupied with whether you could you never stop to think if you should if you should <laughs> love it that's such a classic saying i'd be curious to know how many movies and games have actually used that phrase or a variation of it because it's such a good one um but yeah they alluded to that in the last one too uh in one of the last chapters about you know all these i keep hearing all these things but okay it's just the robots. 
you know, they kept talking about Compound 26 and, you know, how great of a thing it was. But a lot of people were questioning, like, you know, kind of too much of a good thing is a bad thing, so to speak. And, you know, that typical expression, just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I think that's going to come into play with Wyatt and why he went completely off the rails. But let's read about these bees or at least look at them in depth. Amazing. Even all the way up here. Come on, Jess. Stop staring at bees. Time <laughs> to go. <laughs> I have five, four. Huh. I mean, I can see the importance for wanting to have bees, though, on a, a colony like this, basically on Mars. I mean, if they're attempting to expand the population of Mars and make it livable and inhabitable, in you know, you would need bees to, to help... Uh, you know, the process of the vegetation growing and everything like that, pollination, you know, so I can see why they're necessary. I wonder if they have a key integral part of what went down. I know I keep asking questions, but I'm serious. I, you know, it's been a day since I played chapter three and like I've been thinking about it nonstop at work, <laughs> in my downtime when I'm it's watching movies. Okay. Focus and calm, just like they taught me. Focused mind. Yes, now is definitely the time to get focused. But yeah, my mind's been racing trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, it's it's a lot. <laughs> and there's a lot to explore here. So let's take a let's work right to left. This looks like some kind of a lab. I mean, we knew the greenhouse was huge. If you watch chapter three, um, we got to see what it looked like from the outside and it was enormous. Um, so I'm not surprised that there's multiple levels to this. But let's take a look at this lab report. What have they created? That does not sound legal. See if I can read this. The compound can sustain growth whilst maintaining a healthy level of nutrients. The food created here has been tested to reveal more advanced traces of the compound. Uh, so the soil is not acting as the desired catalyst. The formula needs to be revisited. Okay. And that was for compound 23. So that would make sense then if they're, you know, trying to create these compounds that accelerate the growth of food or maybe just the vegetation or all of it, you know, because when it comes to repopulating a planet, you need to get that stuff out as soon as you possibly can um, so you can repopulate and grow and continue to grow. Ooh, is that blood or is that mud? Oh my god, I am really stupid. I did not know you could read this. I'm sitting here trying to read chicken scratch. All right, laboratory report. The results are highly confidential, not for distribution. Signatures must be provided at the end of this report. B activity, uh, data table one, honey collected, time, okay. Since coming into contact with the compound, we've continued to monitor the behavior of the bees. There seems to be little change other than a slight uptick in activity. Further monitoring is required. Signature, Helen Dunpart, okay. So I feel really dumb that I, <laughs> I mean, we, have, we haven't really seen many uh, lab reports, so but it's a good thing I got a new contact contact subscription. Jeez. All right, so let's read this one over here. So the bees got slightly more active with the compound, but not... That's all I need. Agro bees. Agro bees. Um, subject, contamination. Compound 19 became contaminated due to another bee-related escape. The batch now needs to be created once more. Interestingly, the bees that came into contact remain fine and have been returned to the apiary. Huh. So we started dabbling our compounds and started dabbling our, uh, mixing up the bees. So I wonder if, you know what, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stop asking questions. I'm just gonna <laughs> keep exploring and trying to get the answers that I hope they give us. Ooh. These all the failed batches? Compound 22. Or no, these are all just compound 22. This is the wild thing about science and, you know, experimenting like this. I mean, it could take years and decades of work just to look for the solution for one thing. And I this wonder is why they're digging so deep. Prospect too. Subject overgrowth. Some sections of plants seem to overgrow and expire almost overnight. 
Here, the compound is clearly unbalanced and needs recalibrating to meet the needs of the soil catalyst from Planum. Planum? Uh, and that was for compound 18. But yeah, you know, it's crazy to think that, you know, you're looking for the solution for one thing. And granted, it's a huge thing, you know, accelerating growth for plant life and food uh, to repop repopulate an entire other planet. Um, but still, the concept is crazy to, you know, I wonder how big her team was working on this. Hmm. It looks like they almost grew too fast. I don't really know how you can tell that. <laughs> if we have any botanists uh, that watch this, let me know. I mean, they look dead. They look wilted, but... Interesting. Alright, we got another poster over here. A chance to start again. Frontier Projects. Uh, Terra Frontiers, a better tomorrow. Ah... Initiative is building the cutting edge of simulated biome technology, crafting our home away from home right here on Mars. Okay, so that's what a better tomorrow is for. Or the initiative, rather. Okay, that makes sense. I We had seen that a couple times, um, but I didn't really know what it was referencing to, but that makes sense. Trying to create a sustainable way of life here on Mars. I wonder if things are getting crazy on Earth, or if Earth is ceasing to exist rapidly, um, because this game takes place in 2080. Ooh, are we in Helen's office? Very nice. Uh, let's do left to right. System- oh! Oh, wait, I have a code for this. Hold on. Where did I put that sheet of paper? <laughs> Alright, if this works, I'm gonna be so happy that I saved that number. Or that I wrote it down, rather. I was wondering when we were going to be able to use this, or if I was ever going to. Let's go! I thought I was just wasting ink. <gasps> Is that the Compound 26? It is. God, I would be so afraid to even just pick it up, even with gloves on, knowing that it could potentially have something to do with the reason everybody's going absolutely feral, or I guess one person in Fort Solace. I hope this gives us some answers. I need to know what is going on. Helen Dunpart. I, I can't believe it. Ugh, man, I wanted more than that. It's fine, you know what? It's fine. I get it. It's a slow burn, baby. It's a slow cinematic burn, and that's fine, I guess. Um, but obviously Helen was very excited um, and elated that she perfected, so to speak. That one's still up for debate, but um, obviously she was pretty choked up and excited um, and happy, and she wanted to share it with her mom. Which these video logs and the, the voice acting in these videos and the emails, they do show a lot of personality, and that's one thing that I really do like about this game, um, is that it shows a lot of personality, um, and you really do start to feel for some of these characters. Unfortunately, half of them are dead, but uh, what did we just pick up? Some messages? I have received concern from Helen that you're simply not able to handle Wyatt Taylor and his conspiracy theories. It stands to jeopardize everything. I know you're against taking action, but you leave me with no choice. Oh, wait, no. We already read these. What did I just pick up, then? Okay, I don't really know what I just picked up. Um, which is fine, I guess, but let's take a look at this picture. Maybe it's better if she doesn't know. Who is that? Is that her, like, girlfriend or something? Brazil 2078. So that was only two years ago. And there's nothing attached to it? Hmm. Or maybe that's her mom, sorry. <laughs> maybe that's not her girlfriend. They look very similar in age, though. So her mom age as well. Okay, let's read these emails. Dear Helen, thank you for the update. That is terrific news. Congratulations to your team. This does mean we can now move to phase two. I'll inform the team. Have fun celebrating. I'll dispatch a team to collect a sample tomorrow. Jack Stevenson. 
Dear Helen, your uh, your site manager and security have been informed of his suspension. It wasn't easy to push through, but we feel with his removal and your report, it's in all interest to make sure your work isn't interrupted. Come tomorrow, he will no longer be on the site, and my team will arrive to collect the sample. I'm assuming they're talking about Wyatt there. Helen, what we have created cannot be shared. I spoke with Wyatt earlier, who feels the same way. When we first started this journey, he wanted to make something that could change lives. Now, I fear what lies in that vial is no more than just lightning in a bottle. Is more than just lightning in a bottle. As I'm away for storm season, I have had a chance to reflect on the harm it could potentially do. We still don't fully understand what we have made. It would be irresponsible to turn it over to Jack and his team. They have no intention of using it to create sustainable oxygen, oxygen here or at other sites. You know it. I know it. I can't believe you've actually done it. Come home and celebrate. You don't need to be up there anymore. We miss you here. Please come home. So proud of you. Sarah Dunpart. Okay, so Sarah's, I'm assuming her mom. Tara Mail. Hello, your package for Sarah Dunpart has been collected. Further updates will be emailed over again over once transit has begun. You can track your package using your reference number on the Terra portal. Okay. So, interesting. Compiling a new compound this week has meant for a more concentrated measure. As the teams continue to provide us with samples from the site, we look to regulate the growth rate through controlled nutrients. Whilst time runs out for those back home, we are so close to sustaining life here. The work we're doing is... is bigger than all of us. We are beginning to see aggressive acceleration with Compound 26. It seems to be able to sustain environmental hazards as a result. This development has been fundamental in... Ma'am, Dr. Taylor is here again, requesting to come downstairs. <sighs> For the last time, he doesn't have clearance. He shouldn't be here. Yes, ma'am. However, he says it's a question of ethics. Where is he? Boreal region, ma'am. <sighs> <sighs> Helen's fed up. <laughs> Man, so... Wyatt Taylor ended up getting kicked off, kicked off of Fort Solace, essentially, or at least he was asked to leave um, for, I guess, kind of being a, a whistleblower, um, which wasn't a necessary thing, I guess, at the time, um, because they placed a higher emphasis on Helen and her getting her work done than whatever it was that Wyatt Taylor had concerns about. But obviously he came back, and so his kind of craziness started to show, and it wasn't just something that snapped, you know, it was starting to fester over time. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to point out was that they mentioned that time was running out for the people on Earth. That is one thing they haven't really mentioned much in this game so far was Earth. So you'd, I don't really know what the situation is like there, or I guess we don't play in the game. And I wonder if it is just kind of a general statement that they're saying, you know, time's running out on Earth, or if some bad shit happened between 2023 and 2080, and they've literally got a timer basically before things go haywire there. Um, and if that's the case, then I can understand why they're rushing this process, trying to get Compound 26 figured out um, and to make Mars sustainable for human life. But let's check the... Oh, boy. Ooh, he is not happy. Sheesh. Oh, no. Ooh, boy. I don't know if that was a knife or what that was, but... Man. Why I got pissed real quick. I mean, I'm sure getting kicked off of a base that you have probably spent a lot of your time and dedicated a lot of your working hours to, you know, I would be just as just as pissed. Maybe not that pissed, but um, man, crazy stuff. So, all right. Well, let's keep moving forward then. I wonder if that video footage was captured right before we found Helen. Because when we found Helen in Chapter 1, she was stabbed repeatedly um, and she barely made it to the front of the door. Uh, where we found her is Jack.
Oh, it's an <laughs> I-5 node that we found earlier. Okay. All right, so we're back. We All we did was walk back to the staircase. Uh, What am I looking at in there? <laughs> I know I said in Chapter 3, but I just finished watching all the alien movies, and those look like little the little pods that they, they grow in. Are these like harvesting bags? What are Where these? Where could he be? Jess, <laughs> I know we're concerned about Jack, but let's look at the gross yellow liquidy bags directly in front of us for a second. Huh. Looks like an irrigation. The frontier project. That was shut down years ago. I don't think these bags are as sinister as I thought. They look like, uh, just like ir irrigation pouches or something. Interesting. Okay. I'm still really on edge because, again, why it could be... I mean, look how creepy that looks outside. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but... I just... I picture Wyatt just sitting up in a tree branch, <laughs> lurking and looking down at us while we slowly explore while we're supposed to be looking for Jack. The success. So, she did it. Is he after this? For himself? Subject, Compound 24. After the success of Compound 23, we now look to create a more streamlined and stable compound in order to share our research with other Terra facilities. Helen Dunpart. Huh, okay. So, I wonder, I mean, again, we're on Mars, so there's obviously other Terra bases like Fort Solace working on the same things to get a planet ready um, to be inhabitable, but man, and that's the other crazy thing about science and stuff, you know, I know I sound so ignorant when I say it like that, but I'm not a scientist at all, but that's the crazy thing is you, you can make something, you can make it work, and then you're just never done crafting on it and perfecting it. Um, it's almost like you can never be satisfied with what you end up with. Subject, compound composi composition. Uh, creating compounds is becoming increasingly harder due to the lower qualities of planum soil we are receiving. The sample is of a much smaller scale and therefore hard to determine its effects. I wonder, I don't know what planum soil is, planum soil, but they're clearly not getting enough of it. Man, look at that. Just, I can't even see how big it is because my camera won't pan all the way up, but there's literally levels to this shit. That looks so cool. Terrifying, but cool. I don't know why this area is particularly darker than the other, but... Let's go ahead and get out of there real quick. I really, we haven't even gotten any like signs or hints that Jack's even alive. I really hope he is. Out of the depths and into the jungle, it seems. Where even am I? We're in the he greenhouse. can't be anywhere else. We are in the greenhouse, Jess. Come on now, you know that. Is there anything worth exploring over here? I bet it's a poster, which I know I've already missed a few, I'm sure. Um, and that's okay. I did not play this game to be a completionist. I'm a little surprised that we have the freedom to never mind, it's blocked. <laughs> My working theory again is that, you know, Wyatt Taylor is trying to put an end to the potential contamination of whatever compound 26 or variation of it you know, had an impact on humans, and so obviously Wyatt Taylor was trying to stop it. Um, which unfortunately included Jack and now Jess, but... I don't know. I want there to be more. <laughs> what happened here? Again, take the damn weapon. We have passed up on so many things that we could use to defend ourselves, and we're just good with not having anything. I tr I really don't understand it. Jess and, or Je Jess and Jack both seem like very intelligent um, and resourceful people. I don't know why they're not taking even just a small blade. We know that <laughs> Wyatt 3D printed an axe, so I don't know. I'd be using the torch gun from the beginning of chapter two at this point. Ooh, doggy, this is sick. All this, this is the reason they're here. 
No wonder such an old base is still operational. Uh, let's see. Level three catwalk is the only where <laughs> the only place we can go. Catwalks are notorious for showdowns, so I have a feeling we're gonna meet Wyatt here in a minute. So pretty though. I mean, aside from all the horror, you know, going on around us, like this would be beautiful to be around, especially if you're working. You're not just sitting in a metal dusty office. You get to at least look around and see all this. Hi, Jess. <laughs> Ooh. If you're afraid of heights, don't look down. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. I don't care how nerdy I sound for that. I just like, this is so damn cool. We saw it scale outside and it looked ginormous. And now we get to see it from a different perspective. Let's go ahead and take a proper gander at it. <laughs> All this, such a beautiful sight, even up here. That it is. Also, this is a really random thought. <laughs> but do, uh, do... Ooh, she's getting shaky. Keep it together, Jess. Um, again, a really random thought, but are spacesuits, do you think they're, like, air-conditioned somehow? Because the first thing that I thought of <laughs> was how hot it must be, not only just to be in a greenhouse in general and how humid it is, but to then also be on a spacesuit or in a spacesuit on top of that. I don't do well in the heat. I sweat like that. Um, <laughs> so I know I'd be sweating bullets if I was inside the sweatsuit inside of a greenhouse. But hopefully they've got some proper ventilation uh, in the year 2080. I was half expecting Wyatt to pop out somewhere in the catwalk and like dangle us over. But I think we're safe for now. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Self-affirmation, Jess. You got it. Panic would be setting in, though, right now. Absolutely. It's also very quiet, too. There's not a lot of ambient sounds happening. Uh, and it's making me... fearful. <laughs> Cutscene. <laughs> oh no, I failed it. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Where did we get the knife? Oh, did he run off? Wow. What a bitch. Fuck this. Fuck staying calm. I mean, at this point, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I Again, I don't know where we got that knife from. Um, it would have been nice to actually visualize us picking a weapon up so I could have that sense of relief, but I'm just glad that we had it. Uh, man, he darted off quick, though. We should probably head back the way that he left, but I don't know if we really saw where he went. Let's pull up the multi-tool. I'm assuming the objective is still just to find Jack, yeah. So, we'll go ahead and keep pushing along. Another thing I wanted to point out about this game, what is that? <laughs> it looks like chum on a stick from Spongebob. The other thing that I wanted to point out is with the quick time events, I've been failing them left and right. I'm still not used to playing on keyboard and mouse and it's fine. I know I could have played this on controller, but I'll finish that thought in a second. No. Jack, 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 wake up Jack. Are you okay? Do you have any idea what I've done? What this has taken from me? Look, I read Helen's work. 
You, you can report this. Helen's work. You read Helen's work. What about my work? And I did report this to everybody. And you know what they did? What? They suspended me. Me, of all people. They came for me at my facility, and they took everything. We can walk out of here, tell everyone what we know. These were my colleagues. They were my friends. Then my family. Do you know what it feels like to realize you're never going home again? We can. We all could. That's sweet. But your hand's shaking? Yeah. That's the first sign. And after that, it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's gotta be this way, because you really look like good people. And trust me, I... I take no joy in any of this. No! Oh. <laughs> Full swing. Escape to the airlock. Holy shit, dude. I don't want to talk because I think they're going to start talking. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk. And if I get cut off, I'm sorry, but... That is wild. First of all, it didn't look like he cut her that deep, so I'm hoping that she can stick this out. Uh, you gotta help me. Uh, Wait here. Uh, <laughs> thank God, Wyatt or the uh, Jack woke up. I told you, Shivori wasn't dead. Don't you fucking die! Uh, Some both of these, by the way. What do you want me to do? I'm tapping E. I think I got it now. My mind is in absolute pretzels right now. At this point, you're probably just wanting to leave. But damn. I know this is hard. 
being the martyr always is. But your partner... She understood that. You got a chance to do the right thing here, Jack. How will they remember us? As the ones who saved them from certain death? Or the ones... who allowed it to happen? They'll name schools after us. Erect statues in our honor. We will become immortalized. And your friend... Her? Shit, man. I can't even remember her name. Beat his ass, Jack. <laughs> Get up, Jack. Come on, Jack, try and get up. Yes, no way. Oh. oh, damn it. Stand down. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Target neutralized. Central, this is Alpha T. Situation contained. Identify yourself. Sir, are you able to respond? Man. <laughs> Ooh wee. I'm gonna get my head together and put my thoughts in one piece, uh, and I will be with you guys in a second. Chris. Um, I sent you a package. Do not open it. Okay? Do not open it. Just take it to Tom. Don't tell anyone, but he'll know what to do. There's, um, there's something I gotta do up here, but, um, talk the girls in for me, and, um, give them a kiss. I love you.
Heavy Chrissy. Man, what an ending for Fort Salas. Holy shit. My, hold on, I gotta take my headset off for this. You know, I had the entire credit scene and post credit scene to gather my thoughts and my mind is still racing like crazy. I have so many questions with one being towards the very end. How on earth did Wyatt get up before Jack did? Um, <laughs> Jack broke his arm obviously in probably multiple places, but Wyatt took an entire ax to the leg. How on earth did he get up uh, to be able to wield the ax over Jack? But aside from that, the other, the main question that I have is how was Wyatt invulnerable to whatever it was that was going on in Fort Salas? We never got an answer, by the way. Obviously, if you watch the whole thing, we never got an answer as to what exactly was infecting people. I'm assuming, and they suggested that it was something that came from one of the compounds or compound 26, but they never directly told us. And we didn't even know what the effects were until the very, very end when Jess started experiencing the shakes um, and that was pretty much it. And we'd seen that throughout the entire game up until this point, but I just credited it at least to anxiety and just the feeling of fear with everything going on and panic. But obviously there was more to it um, that we didn't really get to see. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I love this game. It was very fun to play. The story was incredible. The voice acting was some of the best that I've honestly experienced. But I wish there was more explained. I wish that we knew the effects of Compound 26 and what it did to the body aside from the shakes. We really only got to see the first stage. And so I wish they would have dived a little bit deeper into that because again, I still think that Wyatt, despite how crazy he got at the end, I feel like he wouldn't have gotten that way unless things were justified through his eyes, right? You know, he seemed like a genuinely good dude who cared about his family. And then you saw at the end how choked up he was getting because of what he had to do. Overall, that game was super fun. You know, I do wish going back that I would have played it on controller, keyboard and mouse was a little janky, but ultimately I don't think the inputs really mattered because I missed my fair share of quick time events and I don't think that changed what happened to me. You know, obviously I didn't die and get sent back to a checkpoint, so it is what it is. Overall, I would definitely suggest playing it yourself. It's a different experience with a headset on um, and kind of just going through the motions as you're actually experiencing it and playing it. Hats off to the devs team and Fallen Leaf Studio. That was very fun to play. And if you haven't already, be sure to uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm sure I'll continue talking about it much further past this video. So catch updates on there and be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel um, and want to see me play more scary games, survival games down the road. But that is going to do it for Fort Solace. We're closing the book. So thank you all so much for being here. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. But until then, just survive.